Hello crafties, welcome to another video. My name is Infinity and today I will be doing the second part of my Four Seasons Pour and I'll be using about seven different colors. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Some of my colors do have silicone, I forget which one, but hey, it's going to be pleasant. Alright, and so first I'm going to start off with yellow. Kind of in this catter corner edge here. I have no idea what that was. Okay. And I'm going to come and hit this other edge with this kind of dark foresty green that I mixed up. I don't know, foliage reminds me a lot of the spring season. I'm going to move my black cup here. It's kind of glistening. I don't have any iridescent in it. But it's just doing its own thing. Okay. Now I'm going to come in with my lighter colors. I'm going to start with this kind of cotton candy blue. And just pour off in the middle. And next I'm going to come in with some white. Ew, there's white on me. white's probably not going to come through as much, but that's okay. Next, I'm going to come through with this like fluorescent green. Here's another characteristic of spring. Next, I'm going to come in with this kind of turquoise blue. Gonna come in with a little more yellow in the center. Now I'm gonna come in with this pretty mint green. It almost looks white by contrast, which compensates for my white being stubborn. Okay. And now I'm gonna just kinda tilt this guy. Okay, let's get a little bit of back canvas <clears throat> over there. Pardon me. I'm getting some purple hues, and that's probably just a product of the colors um, blending with each other, chemical reactions and all that. All I'm using today is Floetrol and silicone. Gotta love those chemical reactions. I'm going to come in with my fluorescent green here. This is going to be one of those really minimalistic kind of pours, I think. I'm going to pour some blue, this turquoise blue, into this mint green just to give it some contrast. See these cells popping up? I'm loving it. I'm so glad that I got the um, silicone oil finally. Took a minute. Now I'm going to tilt it this way just a wee bit. Whoa, just a wee bit. I 
And this is one of those kind of quick pours, so I'm trying not to get messy. Too bad. Okay. And just making sure my edges are coated. Oops, they pretty much are at this point. Which is great for me. Just these hit and miss spaces. Um, what am I going to do now? I'm going to come in with this forest green again and just kind of pour it over here. And here. And then I'm just going to pour out the rest of my paints and see what happens. Coming in with this minty cream. And we're almost there. Coming back with the last little bit of this like cotton candy blue. Because I don't have a better name for it. And I look forward to seeing this one dry because it is kind of fun and crazy and all over the place and that's what makes it different, that's what makes it abstract and it just, just gives it character. Look at these cells, they're beautiful, they look like plants, which is also, again, my favorite part of spring, you know, nature, so inspiring. to the end of this painting i hope you enjoyed watching today if you did go ahead give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button make sure you check out my other social media for other artsy and craftsy updates and until next time guys happy making <laughs>